Oh my god, I'm doing it! No way, I'm doing it! Holy shit! Hello guys, welcome back to the Blarky channel. My name's Blarky and I just did a headstand on my- Is it called a headstand? Head? Head? Wasn't that really cool? I bet you was impressed by that. If you wasn't, get off the channel. I'm not in the mood for this today. Get off the channel. No! Throwback time. Do you guys remember that If I Cringe I Die video? Where in the thumbnail I had this particular person. Um, Blarky, I actually don't recognize that thumbnail. But that's because you're fu- Never mind, you're right. I actually ended up changing it, but I did react to the person in the video. Well, a lot of you guys were down bad in the comments asking who it is. Please seek help. That person, I never actually made a video on. And recently, she's been, you know, uh, streaming, I think. And she's gained a little bit of, a, like, a, a buzz. To the point where I saw it on my Twitter. I believe the clip was something of her just being a... a long, long story short, let me just break it down for you. She's basically a furry. Wait, is she a furry? She doesn't have a fursuit. She thinks she's a dog. Fuck no, baby. <laughs> She, she's known as the dog girl on the internet. But yeah, I believe she blew up on TikTok before being cringe and doing dog things. But uh, now she's uh, streaming and uh, she's actually been on that red pill, blue, whatever the fuck it is. Green light, green light. Where the based guy uh, exposes and scratches on the OnlyFans model. Uh, she's been on that. So I thought it would be interesting to take a look at her. Her TikToks to you know, show you and refresh you guys what she does. And then we can take a look at um, how she is off. TikTok. Quite an interesting one, uh, so let's just give it a try, I guess. Uh, her name is Meow Dalen. Uh, Dal I'm pretty- I butcher names all the time, I just don't care. I'm calling her Meow Dalen. We're gonna take a look at Meow Dalen today and see if, um... I don't know. Alright, let's go. Weezy out here. That's not the- Weezy out here. Weezy out here. <laughs> Alright, spectacles time. <laughs> <laughs> it's just every time I take off the spectacles, you see the real eyes. Nigga, shut the hell up. Alright, uh, before we get into the, the podcast thing, I've just searched Meow Dalen. Her account, fun fact, her account is actually... Well, you guys can't see any of this. Never mind, restart. Fun fact, her TikTok is private for some reason. Let me double check if she has an Instagram. Why has Billie Eilish got me on her close friends? My special. Shout out to Billie Eilish, though. We locked in like this. That's my twin. I'm, I do not know her. Oh, fuck. So here's the... Oh, my God. Captain, mm. good dog. Stop it. I'm not a dog. Shake. Come on. Good job. Atta boy. Oh. Alright. I didn't mean to do that. Her Instagram's public, right? Which is... Awesome. Um, anyway, here's the most popular ones that she blocked from on TikTok. We're gonna take a look at them and as a little introduction. So, um, I, I was just in the kitchen where you were and you were you, when you were making food and I was waiting for you to drop something. <laughs> Who's this guy? Who is that guy? Oh my god, no joke, that's the exact Nintendo DS I had as a hand. I don't know why I told you that, you probably don't give a shit. Fox. Oh my Stop. god, there's two of them. I just want to kill myself. And this is definitely a grown ass woman. Look at the jaw. Look at her face. Like in this one. Look at her face. Look at the when her face kind of like gets all old and saggy and it starts maturing a little bit. That's what hers was like. She tries to cover it up with makeup, but I can see you're 30 years old. If I'm wrong, then I'll uh, bust it down on camera to Drake. Dumb bunny. I'm not a dumb bunny. Oh, this is Edwig. It's like, and that's not wet cement. Damn, son. Holy smacks down. That was freaking awesome. Why are there so many of them? No, this is pissing me off now. Why are they- This was supposed to be about her. What is this? Some hidden dog community? They give you a name along with all those rippling pectorals? Uh, uh, I, I'm, um, uh, I, I, Are you always this articulate? Hercules. My, <clears throat> my name is Hercules. Y'all are literally just socially acceptable furries because you're attractive. That's what I was telling. It's like, a f you know what's funny? I actually see this worse than furries because I can see their face. Jesus loves you. I'm looking for it. Wait, she doesn't have an OnlyFans? Oh. I mean, there's a plus one. You're still like in negative five. But Twitch, live. You know what's funny? I said this the other day. Twitch might be the worst platform out of all, like... And I'm not I'm not including TikTok and like YouTube shorts. Those are shorts pra platforms where they're like short form content. Long form content like content creation, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Kick. I think Twitch is the worst because Twitch is where you find these absolute degenerates. The cringe Valorant streams where they're like are giving an art art. It's Twitch, they're Twitch streamers. These fucking weirdos with, with that pretend to be dogs and cats, Twitch. The the ones that are just straight up just strumming softcore porn, Twitch. It's such a shit platform. You're gonna eat those pants that you're wearing? Right now. Ah! Uh -huh, this 
<laughs> My name is Meow, like a cat, but I am a dog. Why did you call yourself Meow then? And, you know, it's kind of like uh, whenever you have a really small dog, like a Chihuahua, and you name it Hercules. What happens when I hit this thing? Do you react? I don't, I don't like that. It, it's a dog controller. Do you have a boyfriend? Handlers. They... I want to kill myself. I'm done. I'm, no, I'm going to get out of here. I am this close. I am this close. I am this close to doing something illegal. They feed me. They take me on walks. Um, we practice training, which is one of my favorite things because I get treats. <laughs> So if you go out no, into the back- No, this can't be real, the real talk. Is it like a kinky thing? Like, are they just extremely kinky and fricky? God, <laughs> and you do a poo, or do you wipe it on the grass? Sometimes. It, I have before. Uh, typically though, you know, it's either raining or something. She's trolling. She's trolling. There's no way. I don't believe her. Until like, I see her do it, I don't believe her. Oh, fuck's sake. <sighs> I gotta get over myself and I gotta use the human toilet, I guess. Do you do and that you, in the you, park? You, like, do people give you funny looks? You know, I don't find myself focusing on what other people, mm. I guess, are their reaction toward me because I'm so in the moment of just being the dog. You know what? You know what I think, uh, Meow. If you're seeing this, you're probably gonna see this. Um, you have a mental illness, and I'm gonna give you some advice, and I would seriously uh, suggest therapy. Um, and if therapy doesn't work, I think you need to be in one of those white box rooms. It's either that or you need to be put down. Do you have sex? Is it only doggy style or is What's is this guy asking? I mean, this is a real quick, good question. Human things. I don't like that. Quit. Stop. Yeah, look, she keeps <laughs> pulling the phone away. She's an actual dog. <laughs> this guy's a pedophile. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was a joke. That was a joke. You're 19? Yes. You look older. That's not a compliment. No, you do look old. You look old as shit. That was awesome. So cute. You're so iconic. I'm obsessed. It's all, It's only females. That, I'm sorry, I don't want to be sexist, but it's only females. Not one guy would find this attractive. Actually, you know what? There is some... If we're talking about a normal guy, there we go. If not one normal, sane human guy would like this. Sure, you can get the old creepy kids. Oh yeah, you're a dog. You're such a bad dog. Use your brain! Use your brain! Use your brain! The thing in your head, use it! Your towel wags? That's awesome. Wait, no, this is a guy with his girlfriend. Oh my god! Someone contact his girlfriend instantly, she's in danger. And Look how normal she looks without the ears, or like... Ignore that, ignore that. Look how normal she looks though. She just looks like a normal e-girl. I can't do this, man. Sly Fox, dumb bunny. I am not a dumb bunny. Right. And that's not what cement. Damn, son! I just hate her facial expressions. She looks like she does tattoos. Am I the She looks like a tattoo artist. Who is Duffy? <gasps> See? She looks like a tattoo artist. He's my muse and he also runs the cult that I'm um in, I remember of I'm the High Priestess, uh, and it's a surrealist cult um, that is. Com the fact she has more money than me pisses me off. I don't care. Blarky, you can't be jealous. You can't be. Env I'm envious. She has more money than me, and I want something done about it. Or does she? I don't know. I got so much fucking cheese, but I got hundred beer. You are literally the prettiest girl. Shut up, man. Uh, who is this guy? Oh, her car's actually pretty cool, though. I like that car. Super. Oh, fuck off, man. Anyway, but that's enough of her. <laughs> Hopefully, that's given you a little hint of who this person is. Uh, she's a puppy girl. She likes to dress as a puppy. I wouldn't even say it's cosplay at this point because it's kind of disrespectful to cosplayers. It's more than just uh, dressing up though because she likes to be treated as a dog. She likes to do things that dogs do like shit and piss as <laughs> shit and piss. There's this podcast here. Based guy questions dog only fans girl for her standards. I just want to double check to see if she has an OnlyFans because if not then that's just outrageous. They just lied. Is that big girl? No, no, no. She doesn't have an OnlyFans. Alright, let's begin. Eat the Takimas. 
Wait, do you remember that? I remember that. This guy asked you out and he's very gentlemanly. Yeah. Would you like to tell us about that? I'd love to. Uh, I There was this moment in college where I was- Hold on, what out. the fuck is this lineup? I call this the mental illness lineup. Um, this guy in theater and um, I wasn't attracted to oh, him. Oh, she's got big ass not back. His fault, but he had the balls to ask me out and he actually asked me on a date. That's something that is very rare, I think, at least she's in She's big in as my hell. Okay, I'm sorry, I'll stop making fun. Uh, all sizes are perfect, guys. Also, <laughs> it's like nobody asks on dates. People want to date you. They say, do you want to be my girlfriend? Do you want to be my boyfriend? Not, may I court you and take you on a date? And I thought that was really lovely. So he picks me up. He takes me uh, to the venue. What the and fuck is she talking about? As soon as we get there, uh, genuinely not with any kind of anxiety, very just upfrontly, he goes, are you interested in anybody right now? And I said, well, at the time. This is literally like every normal guy going on a date with a girl. What, what is she talking about? Hey, I don't want to get in the way of that. Why don't we just spend time here, have some fun, and then no, nothing is like attacked. Then it's not a date, you fucking retard. And it was such a refreshing experience because it made me realize men aren't stupid, men are not dumb, men are not even to be expected to be operating at a lower level than I find them capable to be, or that I should expect them to be, because this was, ex this was an experience that I had whenever I was in college. And so it was incredibly refreshing to feel as though I was seen not as a, a woman at least in that moment but as a genuine equal as you want to be a dog you're not a woman right she wants to be a dog she identifies as a dog so why would any why would you expect a guy to what the f you're saying that you would like a gentlemanly man somebody who courts you takes you on a date all of these sorts of things absolutely I, I'm, I'm a little bit in two minds here because I can hear what you're saying mm -hmm. but then I can see that you're dressed as a cat I'm a and, dog and, and, so and dog. You call yourself a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think can that, you open that, could that door be more perhaps hindering that a little bit the fact that you are so a dog. I don't deserve respect because I'm dressing like an animal no you don't no you don't that might be a deterrent for a man who is more traditional if you're dressing like a dog? Uh, no, because I'm not out seeking anything traditional. I was simply reflecting on a college experience that so I had. So you're not seeking that sort of person? Uh, I, I appreciate that kind of person. I'm not seeking anything specifically. I don't seek people. I don't. Okay. I'm not so when you look at a relationship, are you, are you looking at like a pet owner type relationship or like two dogs in, a, in the relationship or what, what's, what's your ideal? <laughs> Uh, a partner who loves and respects me. And Why is she smiling and laughing like what he said was outrageous? He's asking you a question. I'm curious too. When she gets a person, is she does she want him to be like the owner or do they want to be two dogs like some fucking, what's that spaghetti movie? Shout out to that spaghetti movie, man, with the dogs. Was, it's a genuine question. I don't know why she's out like laughing. Equal that I am. But you see yourself as an actual dog, right? You said you like to go play fetch. He, I, he, woof, yes. So how does that tie into your relationship? Like, what are you looking for if, if you're a dog? Um, uh, I'm looking for um, somebody to throw me a ball and then also say, um, oh, hey, uh, I, I appreciate you, you know, bringing in a financial, you know, uh, amount to the situation. I appreciate you having your own thoughts and theories about the world around you and not somebody who sees me as an animal. What the fuck? Make up your mind. You want to be seen as a dog, but then you don't at the same time. Like, what? So basically what you're trying to tell me is that like, you're going to the park, right? With, so, so say if you're dating this girl and you're going to the park with her. And then she wants to act like a dog. She's like, she gives you a ball. She's like, you throw the ball and she's like, act like a dog, bring you the ball. And then she just gets up on two feet and just starts like talking like a normal. What? All right, I'm done. I'm tired. Let's go get some Starbucks. Time seeing women in submissive positions without overbearing power toward them. And especially that can lead into like, okay, you see me and a man sees me wearing a dog collar and he's like, oh, I want to, I want to, I want to tug on that. Are you wearing so that collar for me? Are you saying that the dog thing isn't a sexual fantasy? It's not a kink? Not in any it's way. It is a right. So now I know she's mentally ill because she just said it has nothing to do with a sexual kink or whatever. So now I know she's completely fucked. I Appearance, think she's like that's fun. a reasonable question. I think this is something question. that she enjoys doing. The issue is that it's a valid if you want question. a man who wants a more traditional outlook in life typically this is going to welcome men who have that fetish as exactly well. let her cook no and it's yeah not necessarily like I, I hate it when men sexualize everything but unfortunately like if they see a mentally unwell woman they're not going to think traditional relationship <laughs> i'm gonna be, like, wait did she just call her mentally unwell sex and then run away before she goes crazy that's their mindset yeah. so i think that problem. although obviously you look really cute and all of that jazz there is like, as you were mentioning, like a sort of cognitive dissonance where it's like you're portraying something that doesn't elicit the type of men that you want. Yeah, I, I think there's well, a All right, so far from what I've heard, she's the smartest one here. Shout out to this woman. I don't know who she is though. These people, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna say it because I don't care. You can say, oh, it's it's just her expressing who she wants to feel like. No, it's not. It's, it's like, 
You gotta realize that like, there's gotta be something seriously wrong with your brain to like do this. You can't compare it to the LGBT uh, TV flat screens, whatever. I'm joking. That. You can't compare it to you know that side because that is literally just sexuality. So it's just it's it's way more uh, normal, I would say. This is just fucking retarded. Wait, hold on. I do have a question because people who are like do that shit for kinks, like yeah. You oh, know, like you I'm know aware the, of that, and, uh, and it's, it's not. It's, it's gross. I, it, to yeah, oh, it's like, gross. Yeah. It's gross. Fuck off. It's, it's not inside of you, like the. Do, do you want it to be? What? what? Wait, no, I'm asking oh. you. <laughs> no, like these. Fucking, yeah, yeah, I get these, what these you're fucking saying, animal yeah. people. They'll like wear tails, and it's actually butt Doc plug. Doctor Billy donated two hundred dollars. He's asking if it's a butt plug, man. He donated two hundred dollars and didn't say thank you. What is this? Dads, please stay in your daughter's life, or this happens. So she basically says she wants the partner to feed into her delusion. That's the, that's the long story, basically. Yeah. So long story short, uh, this person is long gone, man. Meow. If you're seeing this, like, sure, you can be a dog, whatever the fuck you want. It's just you, you. It's more of a thing where it's just one. It's cringe for sure. So you should know that you are quite cringe. But in general, man, like. You're just the glorified furry. If you guys enjoyed this somehow, smash like, grab your penis, give it a twist. And uh, if you're a female, do you think like we can pull someone from like the 1980s, right? And show them this person and they would not die on the spot. I feel like they would actually just have a heart attack and die. Oh wait, one, I have one more question if, if she's watching this. Does your handler, right? Pick up your shit when you're shitting. What does he do with the shit? Does he? Is he consuming the feces? Yeah, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. If, like, like I said, if you guys enjoyed, give it a like. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be soon. Bye, bye.